Oops, sir. Attacking. Yeah, what stop. is that? Here. Soft shell. And they don't have a hard shell on them. This camera is not good enough to focus really on it. See, there's one right here and one right here. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to get them on. You know, I went through the rows and rows. But there's uh, some kind of yeah. potato beetle that's attacking the uh, foliage of our potatoes. Other than that, we haven't had a lot of major pests. Hmm, interesting. Daddy, it looks like this one can't move. Yeah, hold on to it, baby. Don't drop it. It can't move. So the solution, Dad being the old farm boy that he is, is to uh, get a can, that little thing of kerosene, and knock them off in there. But yeah, those little potato beetles, some kind of bug is on there attacking the uh, potatoes. I know, I know, baby. Leave them alone. Mysteriously, something is attacking the blossoms. I don't think it's the same beetle. Yep, the blossoms are getting hit too. Hopefully that won't affect much on the rest of it, but uh, Grandpa's going to get rid of these. Grandpa, I think we need to get rid of these bugs that are getting... Well, as you can see, everything is uh, going full steam ahead here. The tomatoes are going nuts. We haven't uh, pruned or done anything with them other than just string them up. And I need to run some more lines through here to keep them up against the fence. But they're doing nicely. Most of them are uh, at least three foot tall. What is it, honey? I found some tomatoes. Yeah. Get some cherry tomatoes there. They are growing. They're growing. Growing well. There's that uh, blue cream from Baker Creek. Yeah. Blueberries and cream. Daddy, this helps them really good. If you flip them, then that helps them. Yeah. Well, here, let's go this way, honey. Get some more uh, cherry types through here. And in the rest of this rows, uh, San Marzano. And they're doing really well. The rest of these on this side are heirlooms. We got Kellogg's Breakfast, Dester, Pink Brandywine. The tomatoes. I have an easier way, Daddy. Okay. Now there was a little bit of early blight on a, just like two of these plants, but it doesn't seem to have affected any of the uh, future growth I and mean, everything else looks really healthy. Some of the blossoms didn't, uh, they dampened off, they got a little fungus there, dampened off, others are doing okay. But so far, nice and healthy plants for the most part. No signs of pest damage yet. No tomato hornworm yet. Just a lot of blossoms. And a lot of green, uh, a lot of green fruit there. What's interesting is the um, San Marzanos have set fruit a lot faster than these heirlooms have. Most of these heirlooms is just blossomed so far. I don't see a lot of uh, a lot of fruit on them yet. But uh, they're pretty much halfway up the trellis. We've got our uh, sweet peppers here. Most of them are doing really well. I've really put on some height. They're already at the top of the uh, stakes, which are about uh, three foot stakes that were driven in the ground about six inches, so two and a half feet tall. 
Some of them not so much, more compact, but we've got some nice peppers. Here's a nice bell pepper. Got Corno de Toros and um, the red Marconis and sweet chocolates. We've got our eggplant going on and they're starting to set fruit where those blossoms are. I need to get a better camera. Um, the green beans are, there's a lot of green beans that will be ready to pick. Um, probably some of them are ready to pick now, but we're going to wait to this weekend when Uncle Kevin's in town. He'll love that. These are uh, Jade 2. As you can see, they're doing really well. Some of them didn't come up where I didn't have them planted deep enough or whatever, but we got a pretty good crop here. And then we got a whole nother row of uh, Blue Lake that's on the other side of that row of peas. Just a ton of green. Everything's doing well because the weather's been really good we've gotten a lot of rain consistent rain there's our uh, corno di toro you see that little horn there we got some brassicas hidden in here and for the most part they're being left alone because I think Well, I'm not sure exactly why. You know, maybe Dad's been coming out here and uh, taking care of the pest. But we got a lot of uh, kohlrabi going, some lacinato kale. We we'll get cabbages. Uh, then we got uh, our hot peppers. Some jalapenos that we're growing. This is a, a, a sweet banana pepper that we snuck into the hot pepper patch here and it's got a lot of fruit on it. Got some cayenne peppers going there. Some more cayennes there. We're growing the uh, Caribbean, the, the, I guess it's called a fish pepper this year. Got some jalapenos going, some red Thai peppers. Then over uh, here we've got a whole row of um, lettuce and Swiss chard. The Swiss chard it's going really well. It's a really good crop to grow in the summertime, into the summertime. It, it, enjoys the heat it's really heat tolerant um, some of this lettuce is bolting putting up uh, flower stalks so we're gonna harvest seed from that you know leave a couple of those up replant some lettuce later on this is that variety from uh, Baker Creek that we had a lot of problem with uh, initially to get germinating I think it's called uh, butter Jim. It's got a pretty good flavor. Um, we got two rows of onions there. Red and yellow. Some of them put up a little seed stalk. Our uh, clover seed that we planted in the winter with our uh, winter rye, it's all coming up around here. But the onions are looking really nice, bulbing up pretty good. They'll be, be ready to pick here after a while. We've got a massive wall of peas. 
We shelled, uh, my wife shelled probably two gallons worth the other night. We've got probably another gallon to shell, and then there's a whole bunch more left to pick. Just really prolific this year. These are uh, tall telephone peas, and most of them approaching uh, five foot tall. They climb the trellis really nice. Now we could leave some of these pods on here and just uh, let them get super fat and then dry out and then we'll have seeds for next year. We'll probably do that. We got a bunch of lettuce here that we just didn't get to. Um, golly. This would be butter crunch. And then we had a, a romaine type called Little Jim. So again, some of these we'll let go, and then the rest we'll kind of take down. Uh, we got our brassicas in here. It looks like a little frog. Somewhere there, I heard it jump around. Might be its little burrow right there. We got some Jersey Wakefield cabbage that's probably ready to pick. We've picked broccoli already. We got a lot of kale in here. What is it, honey? Can you take this to Grandpa? Watch the bug. Don't touch the bug. There you go. Um, we've pulled probably about uh, 10 different squash, Black Beauty squash, this is a gray squash, um, we got cucumbers, stuff that's coming in, but here's our uh, curcubit patch and it's looking really nice, dad's doing a good job taking care of that. <laughs> Cucumbers are tricky, they hide in here. So as the kids kind of go in here and look around, it's a little little game for them. We had a couple different watermelons growing in here. I think uh, Black Diamond, uh, Alibaba, and Moon and Stars. And then we got our pumpkin patch back here. We got seven different pumpkin plants, the hardened pumpkins. They grow a decent size uh, carving pumpkins for like jack-o'-lanterns and stuff for Halloween. But here's the squash. You know, we're going to have a lot more. There's one, two, three. There's five on that one. Three more here. You need to give that to Grandpa, okay? We got our uh, Kripnik squash. We got a lot that's that started. It, it, they take a little bit longer to form. So our pumpkins. We got another, our Blue Lake um, bush beans. The only crop that's not doing real well is our sweet potatoes, and mostly that's because um, the birds keep coming down, and they keep they keep plucking off uh, the growth on that. So I don't know if we're gonna have much of anything as far as sweet potatoes. Rhubarb. We're gonna let that. Uh, Redden up just a little bit before we harvest that. The seed stalks, we took most of those off and the seeds are drying right now. So 
So anyway, that's just a, that's a little garden tour. I know I've been kind of uh, MIA the last couple of weeks. We've been really busy. Um, I actually had a couple of other um, videos that we kind of made, but um, you know the garden's way past that now. We're uh, we've been working feverishly on our house in Indiana, trying to get that up, ready to go um, to sell. And uh, kind of going from there, so it's been kind of nice that we've gotten the rain and everything that we've we've had this year. It's it's made taking care of the garden a little bit easier. But overall, it looks like we're going to have another really good year. Things are looking really good. Uh, really depends on what what kind of pests we see later on. I think the weather, uh, with it being on the cooler side, we've not seen some of the pests that normally are in the garden, or that were in the garden last year, like the uh, cucumber beetle and the squash bugs. Yeah, I'm gonna be mowing soon. Uh, we also have a little, uh, a little herb garden going here, some basil, some parsley, Some uh, oregano, rosemary, some chives. We got some strawberry plants in there. All kinds of stuff. All right. Well, I guess that's it for now. I'm gonna get back to uh, helping out. I gotta get get this grass mowed uh, before it gets dark. So, I guess that's it for now. Until next time. Happy gardening. Bye.